Candid Sports. Welcome to TIAA Bank Field, home of the Florida Georgia game. I mean the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jags came into the National Football League on fire in 1995, making the AFC title game twice in their first five years, before settling into a routine of mediocre to horrible, like the way a man is overly affectionate and cares about his girlfriend in the beginning, then tails off once he feels he has her. The highlight of the Jags' existence was 1999, a 14-2 regular season where they only lost to one team, their division rivals, the Tennessee Titans, twice then got to the AFC title game by ending the career of Dan Marino and destroying the Miami Dolphins. In that AFC title game, the Jags lost to the Titans again. But then this happened to the Titans two weeks later. Probably the final play of the game in regulation. It is caught by oh. Dyson. Can he get in? No. Yeah, them. Not only did the Jags end the career of Dan Marino, but Jim Kelly as well two Hall of Fame quarterbacks, though the Jags have had no Hall of Fame quarterbacks, or players for that matter. But Maurice Jones-Drew was really good, and Tony Vaselli is pretty close, and now the Jaguars are back with a fresh crop of talent, thanks to having a top 10 pick for 10 straight years, and finally getting some of those picks right. And now the Jags have joined the ranks of the AFC Elite, meaning they get to the AFC title game and lose to the New England Patriots, just like everyone else. Enjoy the largest scoreboards in sports and hot tubs. In an attempt to distract you from the fact the Jaguars win games by scoring less than 10 points in a league that is now dominated by offense. The Jags are so dedicated to the fans' game day experience, they play one game a year in London. The most popular quarterback in Jacksonville, not the Jags' 26-year-old quarterback who looks like a 40-year-old postal worker, it's this guy who has never played professionally in Jacksonville and doesn't even play football anymore. So enjoy Jacksonville, where parts look like a thriving metropolis, and other parts look like the backwoods of Alabama. And enjoy the game, and watch football the way it was meant to be watched, where if you're part of the 2% that still likes smash mouth defensive football, you're right at home.